Hey guys, this is going to be a video about the water pump on the 308 engine and it's going to be a removal and replacement of the water pump. That's going to be the complete pump, not a rebuild. That's a whole pump, so the assembly that you can see here in this diagram. I will be showing you at the beginning the bleed, or should I say the draining process and then um, so it's pretty much almost a complete drain not quite but definitely a complete drain of the engine but not, not completely all of the fluid so I won't be you won't see me undoing the radiator and emptying the radiator and so on however I will be doing uh, the engine and that'll be the first step so that's what I'm going to show you where to drain that from now and um, and get into it. I don't have the part yet. I'm just preparing. I'm just draining the fluids and preparing uh, the vehicle for um, or the engine for the replacement. Anyhow, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm under the engine, under the wheel arch, I should say, not under the engine. And um, the plug that you want is right there. So it's just behind. The head is there. It's a brass plug. It's a 19 millimeter brass plug, and it's not that difficult to get to or to undo, which I'll show you in a second. You might notice there's some plastic bottles there, a little bit of a mock-up um, into a funnel. There's the funnel there. So plastic bottle there, just to catch it. Funnel, and then down into a container, and the container's raised a little bit to mitigate the amount of splashing and nozzles just coming out there so I intend on keeping this so it's a very very clean container and I intend in, intend on keeping this fluid even though I've bought some new stuff but I'm going to try and reuse this because it is pretty much new itself it's only had maybe 300 kilometers worth of use so uh, I'll get into it I'll undo that nut first and hopefully we won't have a big spill. If we do, we do. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to get in there for good filming, so I'm just going to try and do the best I can. Try not to get in the way of it. So I'm going anti-clockwise. I have loosened this off a little bit already, so that's why it's looking relatively easy. You can get to it pretty easily, it's not it's not that difficult to get to. However, you just gotta be ready, ready to go when it comes to the draining side of it. I'm hoping I can wind the plug out just with my fingers. I don't care where the plug goes, it'll be easy to retrieve. It's a little bit difficult. There we go. And there it goes, and it's going down into, into the container. I'm trying to move the camera so we can do a bit of filming. That's going in. It's dropping into my little container. My hand's up there holding the plug in the container, so hopefully I'm ready to put the plug back in, so I need to put the camera down and I will be back once I've finished draining the engine. Okay, so you can see it dripping there, it's just dripping away a little bit. I'm going to wait till that dripping stops because I have plenty of time and then I'm going to put the plug back in give that a wipe and put the plug back in. The plug does have a crush washer on it so if I've got one the right size I will replace that otherwise I'll reuse this one. Uh, it doesn't look too bad a condition to be honest but yeah if I've got another one that correct size I'll replace it. It's better to replace them and um, yeah so I won't lie, I did have a tiny bit of spillage, well not a tiny bit, but I had about probably um, less than about, about 300 mils, so less than half a litre. So uh, that was just my error up here, 
I just accidentally moved my hand and a little bit just poured out onto the floor. Not a big deal, greasy stuff that it is. Um, I just mopped it up. Very small amount. But otherwise, that particular way was reasonably successful. You might come up with a better way, but that worked for me. An old Listerine, Listerine mouthwash container, just cut away into a normal size funnel. Okay, so just to give you an idea, that's what I got out of the engine. That's that bucket would be. I think it'd be approximately. It looks about 10 liters to me, 10 liter, 10 liter tub. So you can see there what's come out would be about. I would say at least four liters has come out of the engine. So I'll put that plug back in once that stops dripping, and then I'll be able to take the water pump off. Obviously you have to drain because um, the pipe, the water pipe, sits above so there's water in there, or coolant I should say, whenever I say water I mean coolant. Um, there's coolant in there so if I was to undo all of this I'd have coolant pouring out the front by draining it down here. It's below the water pump so it's drained all the water out of there so when I take the water pump off there'll be just minimal, minimal drips. But anyhow, next job, plug back in and start removing the water pump. Should be a fairly straightforward job. Yes, cross my fingers. Okay, she stopped dripping and I've put the plug in. I cleaned the plug up on a wire wheel, made it nice and shiny again, being brass, and I've put a new crush washer in there. And I'm just going to do that up now. So I shouldn't be undoing this again until I've, well, until I replace the coolant again at another time. So I'm going to do it up. So I'm going to get in there. I've got the camera right in front of me, so I'm going to move the camera so I can get in there a little bit better so I can get my arm on that and give that a tweak. I'm going to tighten that up. I don't know what the torque is on that. Uh, I would do it up like a sump, a sump plug. I'd do it the same. Not sure what the sump plugs are. It's in the manual. I don't normally go off talks with sump plugs and that. I just do them. I just sort of nip them up and then sort of put them a, a little, you know, put a little bit of pressure on them so they're not going to leak. But you always check them anyway. Any kind of sump plugs or any plugs like this, you always check once you put the fluids in. Anyhow, I'm going to do that up and then give a little bit of a wipe up around here and. Uh, that's that job done. Okay guys, I'm going to start removing the water pump. I'm going to leave the pulley on for now. I'm going to take the pulley off on the bench. What I want to do now is undo three 10 mil nuts and then you've got four 13 mil nuts bolts one two three four one nut at the bottom two nuts at the top and of course there's going to be a gasket behind there of course so you may need a um a scraper or a uh, plastic a plastic scraper like similar to a plastic uh, paint scraper similar to a paint scraper but a plastic one would be good. Um, you can use a Stanley trimmer, something along those lines. Um, however, you just got to be careful. You don't want to damage any of the facing on the block. Well, that stud was coming out then. So I'm going to undo these, and then I shall undo the 13 mil. I won't make you watch me do all of them. So the 13 mil nuts as well. So they don't feel like they've got a lot of torque in them. 
just do them and don't sort of undo one only just crack them all yeah there's not, not a lot of torque in these at all so I'm using a large socket and ratchet sorry if I bump the camera I have to pull that camera back slightly to get that in there I'm working with the camera in front of me and it's really hard so I can see a little bit of leaking coming through now that's fine there shouldn't be a lot to come out might be a little bit and a lot might put a towel over the front cover and the um, cam uh, drive shaft pulleys just to um, alleviate a little bit of the drip and uh, I'll take I'll get that to the point where I'm about to pull it off and then I'll I'll come back because it's a bit hard to get this last nut with this camera in the way I'm gonna end up doing my wrist in all right I'll be back okay so I've got all the bolts out and the nuts off um, I'm having a hard time splitting the uh, pulling the gasket apart pulling the actual pump off the um, sort of um, sandwich plate behind it um, so because as you can see the whole thing's moving yeah so I'm considering taking out the entire thermostat everything so I need to undo there's a um, a pipe behind there obviously I need to undo that I've had to move this pipe so um, I've twisted it I'm actually gonna I've just drained a little bit of the extra fluid out I'm gonna actually remove it from here so it's completely out of the way I think it'll it's, a bit, it's just a pain in the backside to be right there so it's pretty easy to move out um, I'm gonna keep the fluid that I've got out of here but any more that comes out of there I'm just gonna catch it in this tray and throw it because it's not gonna be a lot it's only what's um, above that point there hopefully that's gonna give me a lot more access in there I've just got to undo that rear pipe so it's gonna have a hose clamp on it it's gonna be behind there obviously okay um, I'm not sure if you can see that but it is in there See if I can get some light in there. There it is there. You can see. Where are we? Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's a bit hard to get it with the camera. But there it is there. You can see it there, just right in the center of the screen. Sorry for the shaky hand. Center of screen, I've got to undo that one. I think you can get it from up the top. So it's not going to be a matter of pulling the plenum and everything apart. I'm pretty sure you should be able to get get to it from above and down that side there um, so hopefully that will bring that whole unit out and and I'll be able to take that apart on the bench so I'll get to the point where I'm about to take it off and um, and uh, come back to you to let that drip for a little bit longer yes yeah, so there it is there that's the hose clamp that I'm having to do so it's not going to be that difficult to get to that comes into focus there it is so that's that hose there the other question is do I undo it from the other side and replace that entire hose it's just a hose that goes completely underneath the plenum do I replace that I'll have to make my mind up feels putting my fingernail into it now feels pretty good actually feels quite soft it doesn't feel that it doesn't feel really rock hard or anything so I'll have to suss it out when uh, when I pull it out but hopefully I can get that should be able to get that reasonably easy maybe a little mini socket for um for that clamp there all right I'll get to the point where I'm pulling it off and I'll come back yeah so that um that hose clamp was easy to get to from here you can see there I've just come in behind there and um, yeah easy to get to it wasn't difficult so um, when I put it back on I'll make sure that I've put that in the same spot so I can get to it easily to do it up I'll undo that a little bit more and then hopefully I'll be able to pull the entire body out okay so there's two hoses at the back to undo obviously one that's coming in to the water pump and thermostat housing so the bottom one is coming into the pump pumping it up and then um, up into the water up into the uh, thermostat housing so there's one behind the thermostat housing you saw me undo at the top 
and then there's that one in there. So there's two that I filmed earlier, that one. Now I got to that one there. Um, where am I? Just so you can see where my ratchet is. Oh, I cannot see it in front of me. It's right in front of me and yet I can't see it. There's my socket just here and that's just undoing that one there so I can get to them they're a little bit fiddly but you can get to them relatively easy it's just when you put those clamps back on make sure you're putting them back on so they're easy to get off again so I've undone those the front one's done all the nuts and bolts are done at the front I'm just going to loosen off that clamp just a little bit more and then that should pull out let's let's hope that happens and it should just basically come away from the engine okay hopefully nothing falls out okay so I've got it I've got it quite loose I've been pulling from underneath underneath the car uh, underneath the wheel arch I should say holding the pulley and the outlet for the thermostat housing and uh, just been lifting it up down up down it's been a Bit of a tug of war it's only taken me about two three minutes so it's not wasn't ridiculous but a bit of a tug of war and um, also put some WD-40 just around the hoses on the inside above the uh, block just to help them grease them up a little bit just so I can uh, squeeze it off a bit better so I'm hoping it on camera now I'm gonna do the last pull I'm going from the top of the motor now through the there we go and there it is. That hose is, um, clamps come off with it. So come in under the engine, grab that, and it's out. So there it is. Let's see if I've got that in shot. Can't see a thing because the sun at the moment. There we go, it's there. Okay, so. Next spot will be the bench. Actually, I'll inspect first. We'll inspect up there and then I'll go to the bench. So, let's have a look in here. It's pretty straightforward. Two hoses. The hoses don't look to be in too bad a condition. They're not very long, are they? The top one's not very long, I should say. Uh, whether I replace that or not, hmm, I'll have to suss them out. But it's all looking pretty good in there. Doesn't look like a lot of corrosion or anything. One thing about this plug here, it's a bit, it's a bit crusty. I've got plenty of those, so I may even replace that while I'm here. It's a drain plug of some kind. I'll have to look that up, find out exactly what that is. 